Welcome back to Wealthy Mentor Trading, guys. Today is August the 7th, 2022. And today I'm going to be discussing four stocks that are ready for a breakout this week. I'm also going to be taking a look at the S&P 500, where we left off last week, and what are my views going into the week ahead. But before we get started, guys, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel as we do release videos every Sunday. And if you are interested in trading with us on our Wealthy Mentor Trading Discord group, we do have a two-month $97 summer promo going on right now that entails day trading, options trading, swing trading, watch list, market prep every day before you get started. So if you are interested in something like that and to further your education, click that link in the description. That should get you going to our Wealthy Mentor Trading Group. With that being said, as I did mention, we do have four stocks that are on my radar, four stocks that are ready for a breakout. Names like Coinbase, Disney, Bumble, and Tesla all have significant impact on the market this week. So before we get started, I do have the S&P 500. And as I did mention last week, I was looking at that 4180 area as a zone where we need to cross to get past somewhat of a trend change in this market right we had this consolidation area back on june where we were unable to break that 41 air 80 area and unfortunately bulls lost out to the bears and then we got a drop to that 36 50 area which for right now looks to be the bottom we are in a similar situation here where we're consolidating just underneath that 41 80 area and it looks bullish however we do need that volume pop that extra push to get us over that top now we did have a great week in terms of economic and health economical health you know we had the job numbers really exceeding expectations and overall the unemployment rate also decreased so those are two bullish things and a step in the right direction to get the economy booming again uh, but overall as a technical analyst i don't care about any of that i want to see the chart break above 4180 and 4200 as my next area of resistance that is psychological resistance as you guys can see here at the very top now the next area that i'm looking at if we do break above that 4180 4200 area is that big next hurdle of 4300 and as you guys can see from previous history right here back on may that is another area that we need to cross to create that trend change but the first things first 4180 continues to be the number on the table uh, you know, we did receive a pullback a few times, obviously dropping down to that 4100, 4186 area. And what I observed was that the bull stepped in multiple times guarding that zone. And what you want to do is collect the information like this to see exactly what the market sentiment is. And to me, every time we get a drop, bulls are stepping in and buying the dip. That is really healthy and that is really bullish for the market. So all we need to do right now is get past that 4180 area. And as I did mention, I have four stocks that are pretty significant this week. You know, Coinbase is reporting earnings, Disney's reporting earnings, Bumble's reporting earnings, and Tesla's due for a stock split. So with that being said, I am going to jump into our first name, and that is Coin, right? So Coinbase is the first name on the list. And the tick for that is C-O-I-N, right? And here we are on the daily chart, guys. And as I mentioned, like Coinbase is reporting their earnings on Tuesday. Uh, and in the last five days, Coinbase has risen 50%. As you guys can see here, we were consolidated between $52 and $64. And we got a breakout above the $79. So like I said, 50% over the past week. And Coinbase recently announced it's entering into a partnership with investment giant BlackRock, uh, ticker BLK. You guys can check that out. Uh, it's the world's largest asset manager, which will allow its institution clients to buy digital currencies such as Bitcoin. And, you know, that was big news, right? So that was the catalyst for us to drive us all the way to 116. And I did mention in our trading group, Wealthy Mentor Trading on our Discord channel that we received absurd amount of volume, guys, you know, Pretty much, if you look at here on the daily time frame, we had a huge volume spike, almost in correlation to the sell-off, right? So it was a significant amount of bulls pushing this price all the way to 116, trapping bears, causing that short squeeze, right? Uh, unfortunately, 
we did drop down below $100. So what I'm looking at in this earnings you know, report is a bullish momentum above that $100 line. I have it here in that turquoise color. So in between $178, I am neutral, right? So a break above 100, I do have targets of 116 which does coincide with a big pop that we have here. And it is resistance over here back on April, 2022. So that is my first target on the break of 100. And obviously we do receive further volume. I do have that 133 and 149 level as next levels of resistance that we could potentially touch on an earnings beat. Now on a bomb, like I said, we are in between that $179 level and $79 level is an area of key support, guys. It was the breakout on the news with BlackRock. So I am looking at that as key support. So I do instruct students to look at those areas, especially if you are shorting below $79, where I do have targets of 64 and 52 if we revert back to the means where we were pretty much stuck into the zone from May all the way to last week where we got that breakout. So I'm looking for continued momentum on strong earnings above that $100 line. All right. So that is Coinbase and my views overall. Uh, keep in mind, the trend is still on a down slope. However, getting above that 149 line or even touching it is a healthy move for the stock itself since it's retraced such a significant amount from its $400 price point uh, when it first IPO'd, all right? Next name is Disney, D-I-S is the ticker. And Disney, I am gonna switch over here to the weekly time frame just to give you guys the whole picture, right? So to me, Disney, you know, first things first, they do report their earnings on Wednesday. And for the current quarter, analyst consens consensus estimates is for adjusted profit of 94 cents a share, which is up 17.5%, with revenue up 26% to $21.37 billion. Uh, for the full year's earnings estimates are strong, you know, with fiscal 22 profits expected to jump 70% and 37%. So overall, analysts see upside with Disney. So for me, what am I looking at? And what are my targets? Obviously right here in the turquoise colors air where it's a no trade zone for me. So I am looking for a break above 113. It has been strong resistance. We got a rejection here in late May and we are attempting it once again right here, right? We've had some bullish momentum where the bull stepped in that $90 support, right? And here we are testing that 113 going into earnings. So a break above that to me shows that it is bullish on earnings. And we could definitely see a push to 128 and 137 if we do receive a favorable favorable earnings right outcome. So if we don't get that, I do have that strong support at $99. And for me, that is an area where I definitely want to be shorting if we receive weakness. Now, uh, if we're judging based on Roku's earnings and we're judging based on Netflix, it sort of is a mixed bag. And Disney, Disney definitely has the ability to sway those other two stocks higher or lower based on their you know, analysis, their overview of what their potential earnings is and what their overview is, their thoughts going into the future for themselves in terms of streaming. Right, so $99 is that line in the sand for me. I am looking to open up short positions down to $90, which is a target that was key support, right, where we bounced off from. And we do have $79, which coincides with this COVID low back on March 2020. So, you know, it, it does look like it's going to head down there to test it really quickly, much like Roku did. Roku was in a position like this where they weren't too far from the COVID drop. Disney looks like one of those plays that where it could potentially drop down to $78, then bounce right back up where buyers definitely buy the dip and push it around that 99 to 113 level again. So guys, you know, there's a, there's a two way movement here. So we could drop on earnings, head to $79 and see a quick push up back to that zone of 99 to 113 
because we are very close to that COVID low. And if you guys are paying attention to the other stocks, a lot of stocks have reverted to that breakout point and that drop on COVID. So definitely watch Disney going in above 113. And if you are bare below that $99 point, all right, the next name that is reporting earnings is Bumble. B-M-B-L is the ticker. And here we are on the weekly, guys. And Bumble is reporting on Wednesday. Uh, it did trade lower on the week last week uh, after its rival Match Group reporting an earnings miss on their you know, report. So it is one of those dating sites that will definitely look at what Match did. And it could be an early indicator to see where Bumble is going. You know, Bumble is a fairly new stock. It IPO'd right here at a high of $84 in 2021, you know, February, and we have been on downhill slope, right? So since that $21 area has held and bull stepped in, we have seen a nice healthy push all the way to $39. And again, guys, that does coincide with the analyst targets, right? So Jeffers, Jeffries, you know, downgraded the stock down to $39. And that's exactly where we are right now. Uh, the chart to me shows that we could potentially get a rejection at $39, much like we did here uh, back on December 2021, creating a double top scenario where we head back down and test $30, right? Or if we do get an earnings pop, I am looking at that $39 level as that key entry point for the stock itself to push to 4750 which does coincide with this resistance right here it was previous resort uh resistance now on the way up sorry it was previous support down here and now on the way up turns resistance so we do have strong overhead resistance at 4750 if we can get past that 39 dollar level and for me if we do succeed on earnings, that is my main take profit target that I am instructing students at Wealthy Mentor Trading uh, to take. Now, if you are a bear, you're definitely looking at that $30 line, which is like the bottleneck area right here. It was key support, as you guys can see, consolidated, held there, and then finally broke down. Again, guys, if we do see, we receive an earnings miss, I am looking again at that $30 line, right? We could get a push down right here consolidate for a bit and then head down so i'm in a no trade zone between 39 and 30 but if we do get a breakout above 39 and it does look like a healthy breakout right here it does need to be confirmed with volume right we need a volume stick right here similar to what it's going to happen right here right anytime you receive a breakout and you want to know it's for real look at the volume that should tell you uh where the overall thinking and momentum is going on a stock like this all right so bumble's reporting earnings on wednesday next name that is not reporting earnings but did receive a significant amount of news and that is tesla tsla is the ticker and guys i am going to switch over here to the daily just to give you guys a clear picture of what's happening so tesla confirmed that it is having a three to one stock split uh, Tesla will begin trading on a stock split adjusted basis on August the 25th. Uh, Elon Musk uh, last week at the shareholders meeting is planning to hit production capacity of 20 million vehicles by 2030, which is pretty crazy, right? You're looking for a new car company is really booming and it's pretty much left everyone that is creating EV vehicles in the dust. Uh, it is still the leader and, you know, now they're having a stock split. So a stock split of three to one. And if your stock is at 900 bucks, you're still looking at a $300 stock. And the psychological part of that is that people are going to look at this and say, wow, $300, this stock should be 800, $1,000. And they're going to get that and buy that $300 stock and Again, we're going to be off to the races. So the masses are thinking that in terms of what Tesla is going to be at, right? So keep that in mind when we do have a stock split that we might get a bullish run up uh, as soon as that happens. That is something to look for in the future. But for me, as I'm looking into the chart right now, what am I looking at? I did instruct students that we might get a run up to $950 and we did that 
we were around that 930 to 950 area, which coincides with this rejection point back here on 2022 of February and this rejection point here in May of 2022. So obviously that $950 area is a big level of resistance and we just can't get past that. You know, after we got that news of the three to one split, obviously we received bullish momentum by the rumor, sell the news type of event. And then we got a sell off right on Friday. Uh, to me, what am I looking at? 840 is critical support. I'm definitely watching to see if buyers step in at 840 for a potential retest of 910, 930, and around that 950 area where we got a rejection. Now, if we cannot hold 840, we're pretty much looking at a bottom right here of $790, which was the breakout area uh, earlier last month. So first things first, you know, we have a 9, 10 to 840 area. And to me, I'm going to wait and see approach around that area, right? So if we get above 9, 10, we're pretty much going to be testing that 930 to 950 area as I've drawn out right here. And if we get around 840, my views, my outlook would be like, okay, I'm going to wait to see if buyers step in. Let's see if the volume is strong. If we're consolidating, right? If the market conditions are ter terrible, we might just break under 840. Let's just say the market conditions are great and we're consolidating and seeing bullish volume. We're looking at the flow, right? The volume. If that's strong, we're definitely going to be pushing up to test these areas back again. So definitely pay attention to Tesla in the upcoming weeks, especially with the stock split of three to one. Uh, a lot of things with Tesla uh, you know, are strange. It's very hard to predict how Tesla acts, but it is driven by... Uh, euphoric events such as stock splits and, uh, you know, Elon Musk uh, Twitter rants. So watch Tesla above that 910 area and watch 840 if you are a bear on Tesla going into next week. All right, guys. So those are four stocks that are all traded at Wealthy Mentor Trading. Definitely check the three stocks that are reporting earnings, Coin, Disney, Bumble. They do have significant impact along with Tesla as it is approaching that key support area, it could be a great buying opportunity. Guys, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in trading with us, click that link in the description. That should get you going for our two-month $97 promo. Thank you so much for joining and see you guys next week.